Blue Robots, 164.02. Now they're clear of the half line. Red Lot Robots are all okay as well. Two, one, and the human players take control. Again, 359, ranked number one for the Blue Alliance. 2576, ranked number six for Red. 3255, number 10 for Red. Red out to a bit of a jump here, 20 to nine. And 2576 on the left side, the scores of cargo. It looks like they lost the hatch panel, though, off the front of the cargo ship. It'll be one step forward, one step backwards. Again, the cargo worth three, the hatch panel worth two. That was a net gain of one, only one point. 2576 scoring again for the Red Alliance. 2984 playing a little bit of D. Same thing, 1661 playing some defense against 359. Some of the tape coming loose here. We got plenty of tape, but tape under a lot of stress as well. 359, hopefully that tape's not gonna get wrapped up into their drive system somehow. That would be, that would be a shame. 55 seconds to go now, advantage red, 40 to 27. As you've seen, the real-time scoring often not indicated, indicative rather, of how the match is going to end up. Still a long way to go now. 43 seconds to go. 359 looking at climbing to have level three. Are they going to stay there or climb? 30 seconds to go. Still a lot of time. Blue looking at the end game, but red continuing to score. 1661 having some issues, kind of creeping along. See how they're going to be doing here. 2984 trying to climb up. Still a bunch of time, 12 seconds remaining. And they get to the diamond plate here and up. Nice job. For 2984, 359, and the other blue robot going to stay where they are. Meantime, 3255 climbing to the top. That's where 12 points and then three points each for the two robots that are on the platform at the lowest level. And a big win. Anything in the 70s has been really good here. So 71 points for the Blue Alliance. 32.55 going up from 10 to nine. 25.76 going from six to five. And 3.59 going from one to two. So not too painful there. Remember the top eight ranked teams